I'm Doug. And I'm Kathy. And Maggie is hiding under the table. She may announce herself. <laughs> Join us as we follow the moon. Now, today we want to share another park with you that's a little bit different than a lot of places we've stayed before. Our next journey was to Kansas City, and we have a video coming up shortly on everything that we saw and did in Kansas City. But we were there a limited amount of time. We were visiting family, and we didn't want to take a couple of hours every day driving from a more rural area park into the city. So we found this park in Independence, literally within 10 miles of just about everything that we did in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. It was very convenient. Kansas City traffic was surprisingly easy to yeah. navigate. We didn't end up with any traffic jams or anything that way. It was it was very good getting around. And this park is kind of in a metropolitan area as opposed to a more rural area like a lot of the parks are that we've been. So come join us as we show you what we found at the Campus RV Park in Independence, Missouri. Thanks. Now, first of all, we're going to drive you right around the park so you can get a feel for the area where the park is located. And just within the city block area where the park is, there's lots of things to, to see. The first thing that you'll see is this enormous spire. We actually saw that a ways coming in uh, along the highway. And when you tell people that your park is right at the spire, they immediately know where you're talking about. <laughs> This is part of, uh, from what we understand, the LDS church. And they've got several different facilities right here around the park. That one is their spire uh, right across the street from it and also visible from the park, especially when it's lit up at night, uh, is this huge green domed building. Um, my understanding on that is it's more like an auditorium. We didn't get to go inside either. Uh, from what I understand, they do tours occasionally, but with the, uh, the COVID situation, they were not doing tours at the time we were there. Just beyond this, and this area is all just directly behind the park. Uh, they have a great little memorial park uh, that's actually set up uh, for, I guess, in honor of world peace. Now we're gonna make a left here to continue on around the block. And you'll see a lot of the, the historic homes here in the area. It is right in the middle of a, a metropolitan area and uh, very different than, than a lot of places that we've stayed because of this, but it did make it very convenient for everything we were getting to. Yeah. Making another left here to continue our trip trek around the block. And you know me and trains, any excuse. <laughs> there is a uh, old Amtrak station for Independence, Missouri located here on the right and that is an old historic uh, rail station it has a caboose setting out there and it has been refurbished and it is an active Amtrak station so there are Amtrak trains that do come right through this station now your next question is do you hear the trains from the park Yes, you do, but they're not overpowering as they've been in some of the parks that we've been in. That's right. But it is a beautiful little flash of history there. I actually like the sound of, of trains off in a distance. Yeah, off in a distance is the key. <laughs> now 
Now, as you come up this, you'll see there is a train track, a spur here that runs right along the edge of the road. I think maybe once a day we saw a small switcher train mm -hmm. uh, coming up and down those tracks. Uh, not very often, not enough to disturb you. There are other tracks in the area, but they're a little bit further away. So as we come back up here to the first corner where we started taking you around the block, we're going to go in the entrance to the park. So you've now seen the entire area around Campus RV Park. One of the things that they say in their description of the park is lush grass. Oh yeah. The grass is amazing. It's beautiful, um, very well taken care of. Now, right there are three pull-through sites and it actually is like a separate driveway going up the hill. They are all paved. There's no grass between those sites. Um, but if you come on up the main road to this the, the park, you'll start to see the sites over here. There's our rig right there. So we were just as we came in. They're not the most wide, but they are all concrete sites. There's bumpers at the back. They were staggered somewhat too. Yeah, so you weren't looking right into your neighbors. Um, really nice newer hookups on all the sites. Uh, nice, they weren't wood, they were like a, a PVC or something, yeah. picnic table mm -hmm. that were really nice. As you first come in, just past our site, there's a spot there for you to park. And this is their office. It's also the residence of the owners. So there's always people there on site. Trash dumpster on your right. There's a whole big grass area out there with um, places to, to play activities. They have a great laundry. three washers, three dryers. It is a small park and that's absolutely more than adequate. They were never busy that we saw. Yeah. And then there's another building for the restrooms and showers. And again, spotless. Yeah, they were clean. Uh, nice terrazzo floors. There was uh, mirrors on both sides. Um, And then the uh, the showers have a solid door on the outside, and they're huge. Yeah. And again, spotless. You can tell there's a lot of pride and ownership in this park. And I don't know how old the park is, but everything looks to be that it's a newer park. Now, right in front of the restrooms is a dump station. Where you see the coach on the right hand side that's not a normal space but it is an electric hookup and we did see that space being used one night the park was full when we were there and this was in late april so that's fairly early for kansas city tourism and the park was full so it's something if you're thinking of staying in this area and this park appeals to you, get a reservation in early. I think we made our reservations back in November for this park. We were visiting family in the area and we knew when we were coming. As you go through the park on the right hand side here on the exit road, this is RV storage. And it is all one way, it's not a loop. So as you come in, you drive past all the spots and then you'll come out this exit road right along the side of the park. Lots of green space, great places to walk the dog. It was actually very peaceful too. Yeah, for being right in the metro area, it was, it was a, a great area. So you got to see some of the area where the campus RV park's located, and you got to take a drive through of the park. Now I will say there is no swimming pool. It doesn't have as many frills and amenities, but for what we were looking for, we were basically sleeping there. Yeah. 
we were spending time with family. We were exploring Kansas City area, which there's tons to see and do. And yes. you'll see more of that coming up very soon. But would you stay there again? I would. Yeah. Absolutely. It was a nice area. They, uh, by being in a metro area, they patrol the park. They make sure that uh, the park stays safe and secure. The bathhouses were all locked. They give you a combination. The laundry was locked. They give you a combination because they don't want to bring people into the park that shouldn't be there. That's right. So with that said, we hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell so you know when all these extra videos come out. And if you did like it, leave us a thumbs up. We sure do appreciate it. And thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thanks for watching today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out. Don't forget to follow us on social media too.